to Friends in Christ on today, Thursday, April 23rd, during these joyous 50 days of Easter, from Easter to Pentecost. We consider Paul's words in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 4, that he, Jesus, was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. All through the book of Acts, the apostles bear testimony to the resurrection of Jesus on the third day. In Acts chapter 10, we are witnesses of all that he did both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and made him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. We rejoice that Christ crucified, buried, was raised on the third day. All of the scriptures bear testimony to Christ and his resurrection. And we rejoice that we have the eyewitness evidence from the apostles that Christ is risen, we will be raised, and we now bear witness to the whole world. Everyone who believes in him has forgiveness of sins through his name. Rejoice in that forgiveness today. Rejoice in the peace that we have in the resurrection of the body to everlasting life. As we continue and pray. God of peace, give harmony and unity to all your people, both in our various vocations before the world and in our common life at the altar. Help us to receive with repentance and joy the gift of Christ's body and blood in the blessed communion, that we may be strengthened in faith and enjoy the gift of a clear conscience through the forgiveness of sins. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, be with those who are ill or sick from this epidemic or from any form of disease. Be with those who grieve the loss of those whom they love. Point them to the promise of the resurrection and the gift of everlasting life to all who die in Christ. Deliver us from the distractions of things that do not matter, that we may focus on the needful things of your word and sacraments, and so be found faithful when our Lord returns in his glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things and everything else we need, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice, the Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Enjoy this beautiful, sunny spring day. To God be all 